Hi everyone, today we're going to be going over making and receiving calls from your Netdephone portal. Please keep in mind that in order to place these calls, you must be using Google Chrome or Firefox. First off, you'll notice this dial pad we have up here. You simply click on the dial pad to enter in the number you wish to dial. Once you have entered in the number you wish to call, you simply press the green foam button to dial. Now when dialing for your first time, you'll notice that Netdephone might request to use your microphone. Simply press allow to continue the call. So the call is coming in right now. I'm going to go ahead and answer. So over here you'll see that we have the mute icon which allows you to mute yourself to callers. So even if you're talking on your end, the callers will not be able to hear. Then we have the on hold option where you can place your callers on hold and it will play any on hold music or audio that you have uploaded to your system. We also have the option to transfer to another team member department or welcome menu as so. So if we clicked on Ben Mark, the call would be transferred to Ben Mark and then disconnected on your end. And then we have the dial pad where you can use to enter in prompts while on a call. And then of course we have the red phone icon to end the call. Another great feature is that Netophone will save frequently dialed numbers within our system. I'm going to do a demonstration and dial a number that I call frequently. If you notice here, a box will pop up with the number I am dialing. All you have to do is simply click on the number and it will be entered for you automatically. Then press the green phone button to initiate the call. The call is now coming through on my end, but I'm going to go ahead and end the call since we're doing this for a demonstration. Next, let's see what happens when we have an incoming call coming through to our web portal. So we have the option to hit the green phone button to accept the call, or you can hit the red phone button to reject the call. I'm going to go ahead and answer the call. And here you would just speak to your recipient as normal. Let's hang up. And next, we can see what happens when you choose to reject the call. So the call is coming in right now, and we're going to go ahead and press the red phone button to reject. And if you see here, within our dashboard, we are getting a notification that we have a rejected call. And it will also give us the time and date. We will also get the same notification for any missed calls. Let's go ahead and go into our call history section so we can see the calls that we just made. If you notice here, we have the call that we just rejected on the first line, and then underneath we have the call that we had accepted. At any time, you can go within your call history tab to view all of your call records to make organizing your business that much easier. And that is how you make inbound and outbound calls from your net to phone portal. Happy calling, everyone!